According to blockchain recruiters, the demand for Solidity developers is returning to 2017 ICO levels. And there are 26 available jobs for every qualified Solidity developer. This is an insane opportunity. But this is not going to last forever. At some point, more candidates will be on the market. So you have to act now before it's too late. And in this video, I will give you some important details on the Solidity job market so that you can really understand where is the opportunity and how to get these juicy Solidity jobs. I'm going to talk about the size of the Solidity job market, in which region you have the most job offers, what kind of skills do you need to get a job as a Solidity developer, and of course, what kind of salary you can get as a Solidity developer. That's a lot. <laughs> I know that Solidity development can be a bit intimidating, maybe you think that that's not for you, but be aware that in my students, many people did not have a technical background and were still able to find jobs as Solidity developers. So really, it's something that everybody can do. You just have to take it step by step. If you don't know me, I'm Julian, and on my channel, Eat the Blocks, I teach DeFi and blockchain development. Before we continue, if you want to understand how you can find your first blockchain job, follow my free training with the link down below. So next, we're going to have a look at this post that was posted by this blockchain recruiter about the Solidity job market, because this is very interesting. So demand for Solidity engineering is returning to 2017 ICO levels. Well, that's pretty awesome because I remember in 2017, all I had to do is just to put the word Solidity in my LinkedIn profile. And just after I was flooded by all sorts of, of recruiters offering some Solidity jobs. So <laughs> if we're getting back to that, that's really awesome. Then it says, if you're a Solidity engineer, that's clearly good news. But if you're looking to grow your engineering function, it's only going to get harder. So yeah, this is clearly a seller market. This is good for developers and not good for blockchain companies. <laughs> then it says, it won't be news to most that the majority of the demand is coming from DeFi. But as soon as the NFT market begins to scale, supply won't be able to keep up with demand. So I'd really show you the influence of DeFi in the blockchain job market and also NFT will also be a part of it. So if you can combine your Solidity skill with some knowledge about DeFi and also about NFT, that can really make you a very, very strong candidate. So after this post says, in order to satisfy the increased demand, we as an industry are going to have to get upscaling software engineers with Solidity. So that basically, basically means that in order to meet the demand, they're going to take some existing developer, maybe not blockchain developer, and teach them Solidity. Yes, but it's not going to be very easy. So first, let's compare the size of these two markets. So it's estimated that total there is 18 million developer, all sort of developer, like web developer, C++ developer, etc. And out of these 18 millions, we only have 100,000 who are blockchain developers. So this is really a small minority. Personally, every time I've shared my content in some uh, online communities that are about web development, like the web dev uh, Reddit, for example, every time I share my blockchain content, I have some super negative comment of uh, other developer who just uh, don't get it. They just don't understand blockchain. They're like, oh, blockchain. Oh, that's so 2017, like, uh, like, uh, well, this is a scam, uh, blockchain, oh, this is Bitcoin, right? And no, dude, this is not Bitcoin, this is Ethereum, and, and, and these guys just don't get it at all. So I really don't think that we'll be able to take a lot of uh, existing developer and turn them into blockchain developer because they seem to be super anti-blockchain. But actually, this is a really good news for us in the blockchain industry because that means really less competition. So now you know, in terms of competition, it's pretty low. What about the number of job offers? It's not easy to get an exact number, but as a proxy, we can use the job bank of LinkedIn. If I search for Solidity, I get 925 results for job ads. But that's not the only relevant keyword for Solidity. If I search for blockchain, now I get about 15,000 job offers. Not all blockchain jobs are Solidity jobs, but a good proportion of them are. So that probably means you actually have a couple of thousand of Solidity job ads on LinkedIn. You also have to consider that the job bank of LinkedIn doesn't include the whole job market for Solidity. 
And also, the job offers that you see on job boards only represent about one third of the entire job market. This is not specific to blockchain, it's like this in all industries. So it's pretty safe to say that there are about 10,000 job offers worldwide for Solidity. It might not seem like much, but for a niche programming language, that's actually very good. So to sum up, the job market for Solidity, the supply of developer is very low and the offer of job is pretty high, so it's clearly in your favor as a Solidity developer. In terms of location, Solidity Jobs is where you have tech hubs. In the US, the best place for Solidity Jobs is, of course, San Francisco and the Silicon Valley. There are a lot of DeFi protocol that have their headquarters there. A close second is New York. For example, Uniswap is there. Then you have, in no particular order, London, Paris, Berlin, and Singapore. So what do you do if you don't live in these cities? Well, I'm sorry to tell you this, but you are done. I mean it. You'll never get a Solidity job. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So this year, because of COVID, companies are forced to work remotely, which also make them more willing to hire people remotely. And in the specific case of blockchain, even before COVID, blockchain companies were traditionally more open to hire remotely. That's partly because the industry is more open to the idea of decentralization that's really in the DNA of blockchain, but also for a very practical reason, because blockchain talent is so rare, which force blockchain companies to hire talent where it is, and it's often not close. As a result, many Solidity jobs are remote. There's still a nuance that I want you to understand. So you have two cases of remote companies. The first case is when the company is remote, but most employees live in the same region or at least are not too far in terms of time difference. In that case, it might be a bit more difficult for you to work with them if you live in a very different time zone because they are just used to do the online meetings for the time zone where they all live. And the second case where a team is truly distributed across the world, everybody lives in a different time zone. And in this case, you are not at a disadvantage if you are not in the right time zone. Next, we need to talk of what kind of companies offer Solidity jobs. Most blockchain companies need Solidity developers, but I want to give you more details. Blockchain companies in the DeFi space are the biggest providers of Solidity jobs. Most of DeFi is on Ethereum and most smart contracts in Ethereum are written in Solidity. For example, Ogre, a prediction market, has the largest team of Solidity developers. Uniswap, Maker, Compound also all have big Solidity teams. In terms of size, these DeFi companies range from small size to medium size with teams that can go up to 50 people. Next, we have enterprise blockchains. I'm talking of big multinational companies in the supply chain or traditional finance industry who want to leverage blockchain to streamline their internal processes. Typically, these companies don't use the public blockchain of Ethereum. They prefer to use private networks. But it's still important to understand that under the hood, a lot of these private blockchains still use the technology of Ethereum, including Solidity. So don't think that your knowledge of Solidity can only get your jobs in Ethereum. There are also a lot of other blockchain technology that needs your skills in Solidity. Next, we have blockchain games and NFTs. So most of these games and NFT projects are on EOS or Tron. For Tron, it's basically a copy and paste of Ethereum, so you can absolutely apply your Solidity skills in this blockchain. The blockchain games and NFT space is still way smaller than DeFi, but it's growing fast. So monitor the situation closely because it might be a big provider of Solidity jobs in the future. Next, I want to talk about the skills that you will need as a Solidity developer. Being a Solidity developer can mean different things to different people. You have pure Solidity developers who only write smart contracts. Typically, you will find these jobs in medium-sized companies. Smaller blockchain companies with only a few employees usually can't afford to hire a Solidity specialist. You also have Solidity developers who do other things besides smart contract like back-end or front-end 
Typically, if you are hired by a very small blockchain company, you will need to be able to touch different parts of the application, not just a smart contract. Because of that, these companies will be a little bit less demanding when it comes to your solidity skills. And you also have security specialists that do smart contract audit. These jobs are more rare and only exist in some companies that do smart contract audits. As a security specialist in that sort of company, you will need to analyze the Solidity code of other developers and make sure that there are no security vulnerabilities. For all these jobs, you will need good Solidity skills. You need to know the different version of Solidity and the main differences between them. So Solidity 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6 and 0 0.7. You will also need to know how the Ethereum virtual machine work. You will need to know how to do some gas optimization to reduce the gas consumption of your smart contract. You will need to know how to test thoroughly your smart contract and you will need to know the main security and vulnerabilities in smart contracts and how to avoid them. And in the specific case of Solidity security specialists who audit other people's smart contract, you will need to know particularly well the Ethereum virtual machine including at the assembly level. You will need to know the main smart contract hack that happened on Ethereum and be able to describe what happened exactly. And you will need to master some auditing tools like Mithril. So next, I wanna talk about something very important. Salaries. How much can you make as a Solidity developer? If you follow my channel, you probably heard me saying that as a blockchain developer, you can make $100,000 a year. This is a pretty conservative figure and it does not take into consideration the different specialties of blockchain. And you are in luck because out of all the blockchain specialties, Solidity is the one that pays the most. Yep. So if you are a pure Solidity developer, you can make $150,000 a year. And if you are a security specialist and do smart contract audits, it can go even higher to $200,000 a year. Not all blockchain companies can pay this, of course. You will need to target medium-sized company with at least 10 employees because it shows that they have already proved themselves and they were able to raise money. Maybe that they did an ICO in 2017 or 2018, or if they started after, maybe that they were able to raise money from VC. And if you want to know how much money a company has raised, you can use a website called Crunchbase. So where can you find job ads for Solidity? You have a couple of websites. In terms of volume, LinkedIn is number one. And I like that you can do some very specific searches. LinkedIn is also pretty good in the enterprise blockchain space. You also have Indeed, which is similar to the job bank of LinkedIn. You also have job boards for startups like AngelList and Remote OK. And after, you also have some specialized job boards only for blockchain, and I especially like crypto job list. You have a filter for remote, and that's pretty useful. In any case, make sure you have a portfolio of blockchain projects before you apply, because otherwise you are going to be rejected for sure. So Solidity jobs are plentiful, well-paid, and the competition is very low. Like I said before, who knows how long it's going to last. So don't wait before the market gets crowded and start learning Solidity now. And a good place for that is my series on Solidity here on my channel. And if you want other useful advice for your blockchain career, you can also check this other series. I'll see you there.